So July of 98 is when engine 288 becomes mm -hmm. squad 288. Right. And this is being formed and you're a charter member. So it doesn't happen overnight. Kubler, you're off the squad. There's a process. Take me through the right. process of getting into SOC when you first heard they were going to form. It. Well, at that time, uh, you, you go, they, they posted something in the orders and there was a tryout. They wanted you to go out down there to the rock and the captains of the new squads were basically standing around with a clipboard and they were running you through different evolutions, climbing the aerial, uh stretching a line i can't remember what they all were but they were sitting around watching you and uh it was at the end of the day they, they jotted down names that they liked and they all sat at a big table and it was like choosing up your baseball team they went around the circle i'm gonna take this guy i'm gonna take this guy they also had their picks you know there was guys like hank Molay, senior guy he didn't try it out there was other guys who they brought over they had a couple of guys that they could bring over you know and then they picked from the uh, younger guys. And also, you know, 288, I think we only had one guy that stayed from the original engine 288. But there was other guys, like, in 270, they may have had, like, six, seven, eight guys, you know, squad eight, engine 18, six, seven, eight guys that wanted to stay. They offered it to the guys who were there first. And if they wanted to stay, they could stay. Um, but in 288, there was really only one guy that stayed, uh, Anthony Tito. And uh, the rest of the guys were all new guys. So that, that brings up two, two different things there. So you have the old engine, it, let, let's say 18, because they had more guys. You had the old guys from engine 18, who more or less would say, well, this is engine 18, this is how we do it. You got all these new hard chargers coming in like, yo, Jack, this ain't engine 18, this is squad 18, and this is how we're going to do it. And that created a lot of animosity, man, a lot of rifts. I know a lot of those guys were eventually weeded out because uh, there's a lot of button heads going on. For us, we really didn't have that, man. Uh, we all came in. We're all on the same page. All just wanted to go to work. All couldn't wait. Drilled to uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, we knew what we were signing up for. And, and basically, that's what we went there for, you know. It was a different mishmash of guys. But uh, I, I tell this story all the time. So I didn't get picked. Uh, when I went down there, Louis, I think Louis, Nicky Corrado got picked. A couple other guys got picked. So Louis, uh, you know, on, about to go there. And um, he says, why don't you come down and see the captain? Talk to him, see what he says. So I said, right, I'll go down there. I go down, see the captain. He's like, oh, Kev, you know what? I'll keep your name around. You know, I have a lot of young guys. I really don't need another guy with, you know, three, four years on the job. I got a lot of those guys, you know. I said, okay, keep me in mind, Cap. So when I came back, the captain of 16 truck was a guy named Mike Puzaferi. He was my workout partner. He was a hard charger. He was a great fireman, yeah. fireman up in Vinegar Hill, uh, a lieutenant in Vinegar Hill. Uh, he says, so what happened? You know, and he, I used to like working with him because he knew I liked to drill all the time. So I, he says, what happened? I says, oh, the captain said he had a lot of young guys. I said, all right. He says, do you really want to go there? I go, yeah, I do. But, you know, I can wait my turn. I think two days later, he must <laughs> – I don't know who he called. Two days later, Captain Murphy calls me back. He goes, hey, Kev, uh, I got a call uh, on your behalf. Uh, you want to come down and start on Saturday? He goes, I go, yeah. He goes, all right, come in and see me tomorrow and fill out the paperwork. I was like, yeah, Cap, I was in there like two, day <laughs> two days ago. You know, he goes, oh, that was you? All right, start on Saturday. <laughs> so I said, I must have left a really good impression on him, man. You know, like he didn't even remember that I went to see him two days before. But uh, that's basically how I got over there, man. And Louie had – I think Louie worked the very first day, and I came there like the second or third day, something like that. 